good time zone to you, dear viewer. Welcome today to my 2021 bullet journal setup video. I'm Burris Red, and I haven't done a video like this before. So let's see how this goes. As you're probably aware by this point, 2021 is just around the corner. The dumpster fire that was 2020 is nearly over. Yay. Let's leave that the hell behind us. I'll be using this Peter Pauper Press dotted journal notebook for this year. Very excited, it looks great. It has the navy on the outside, the cute little planets design all over, and the gold detailing is mwah, chef's kiss. We love this. It is 192 pages on some smooth finish, archival, and acid-free paper. I have used the Peter Pauper Press notebooks before. They've been great. A little bit obliged, but honestly, I'll deal with it for the fantastic cover. The first step for me is to start with my 2021 title page. Um, I just decided to put this on the golden inside pages. I just thought they were a really pretty color, and I'm trying to go with a blue, black, gold theme throughout the book, so I really wanted to get something really uh, to emphasize the theme for this year on that first page. It turns out it wasn't as easy to write on those first pages as what I initially thought. I didn't think about the fact that it's a different kind of paper and it's not quite as porous as the pages inside. So when I went over it with my Tombow uh, brush pen, it just didn't really take. I tried outlining it to see if that would make it nicer. That didn't really work too well. So then I actually went in with some acrylic paints and went from there. And then it looked perfect. I just did a few coats and it seemed to come up just as I intended. I then added some little gold highlights here and there throughout the page as well and it really just finished off the look. I put gold at the tops of the uh, numbers just to kind of give it that kind of balloonish looking nature to it. I thought it was quite nice. Seemed to work well too. Then I moved on and made a nameplate. The book itself doesn't actually come with a nameplate inside, but I do think it's always nice to just kind of have one there to go. It's very simple though, it just reads, this book belongs to Megan, my name. Uh, and then I just added a small planet-like shape behind it and added some more gold detailing to it. Then we moved on to the quote page. Now this is the one that I am still kind of the most undecided on, honestly. I wasn't really sure where I was going with the design, and you can kind of see that in the end result. It kind of looks a little bit not like it's quite meant to be there, um, but I loved the quote uh, that is essentially, only in the darkness can you see the stars. Which really is kind of a bit of a theme going into 2021 that, you know, we've had a had a bit of a terrible year and we're hoping to uh, see some stars, see some good things come for us. I may go back sometime later to kind of fiddle with this page a little, maybe even redo it, restick something in or something like that, just because I'm not 100% happy with it. But honestly, I'm trying to get to a point with my journaling that I don't feel the need to go back and change things too often. Things can be imperfect, they can be not quite right, and that's okay. It's okay to just have it there and move on. If I decide to make a huge change, I can do that later. But right now, we're just doing it and moving on. The next step was pretty simple, honestly. It is just an index page that I did with some stars at the top, a kind of boldish font, where I just started to list each of the pages that I would be using throughout. And I just did this on some simple uh, kind of drawing paper and just stuck it in. I then went and did the same thing with the key. You'll see that it has a similar kind of planet style 
uh, design as what I had for the nameplate as well. Um, it's just off to the left there with the key. I have a very basic key for my bullet journaling. I only started bullet journaling in the start of 2020. Uh, so I have kind of a very basic way of doing things, honestly. And it's all I need. And that's okay if you also have a fairly basic key as well. It's Bullet journals are all about what works for you. And if having a simple key works for you, then go for it. It's your journal. No one else has to use it. Next up is the year at a glance section. I use this fairly regularly, basically whenever I'm too lazy to get my phone out. It's just something nice to give you a bit of a reference of uh, what dates fall on what days and all of that kind of thing. Um, nothing will really be happening with, I won't be highlighting any of these dates or anything like that because I do have a future log to come. But honestly, this also ended up being one of my favorite pages from the book. This and one section that comes later, just, I just feel really happy with how they turned out. So I just did 2021 in the title up top, and then I did a dark blue highlight with my another of my Tombow brush pens there, and it just looks really cool. And then with the gold lettering on top as well, it really brings together that theme of the blue, gold, and black throughout the journal there. With the extra stars around it, oh, just, I love it. Good stuff, good stuff. If you're up to this point in your own journals, you know how much it kind of sucks having to write out all of these numbers. Your hand cramps, you need rests, all of that kind of thing. And, you know, take them. There's no rush, you don't need to get this done straight away. And I feel for you. It, it's awful. I did want to take this time out to just kind of talk about why I'm doing a... A bullet journal setup this year. Um, as I mentioned before, I started bullet journaling in the start of 2020 with a group of friends. Shout out Pastel Sparkles, uh, Twitch sensation. Uh, she actually started talking about bullet journaling right when I was in a deep dive on the YouTubes um, into bullet journaling and kind of she gave me a lot of tips and hints, showed me through her journal herself and it really inspired me to start doing mine. Um, I did kind of let it go with COVID and all of that kind of thing, but I was really inspired to start it up again to start off 2021, and I thought I'd share that experience with you all as well, especially considering I'm still relatively new to this, and I just thought it would be really fun to just show this creative side of myself, um, especially because it coincides with my bullet journaling for Dungeons & Dragons series too. Um, it can just be something cool that we can do together and we can experience together. But yes, big thanks to Pastel for assisting me with that and just really igniting a fire that I didn't really even know was there. Also, another shout out to the other journaling buddies, uh, Friendo Boy and Maleficent, who have both sat there with me just while we bitched and complained, while we were writing out notes in our journals. It was great. If it is something that you'd like to see as well, I'd love to actually go back through with you all what I did for my very first bullet journal. Um, I made a lot of mistakes. I also didn't use it for some months, which was interesting, considering that I did find it really helpful, but I'd love to go through that in a future video. So if you want to know about that or you want to see that happen, let me know in the comments. Anyway, so after a significant amount of hand cramps later, we move on to the future log. Now this one I thought would be most helpful. So basically I tried to set it up in a way like you do with traditional planners, how you usually have your year to two pages and each of the dates are broken up into one line and you just write in birthdays and important events and all of that kind of thing. And honestly, I really liked the end result as well. At first, I looked at the yellow that I used, which is technically meant to be kind of like a gold color with the Tombow pens. Um, and I was just, it was a lot, basically. It was very different to the gold I'd used throughout the journal. And I was just, oh my God, did I ruin it? Did I, did I mess it up? Oh my goodness, what have I done? But the more I looked at it, the more it just felt loud and good in a way. It just really grew on me. But also I experimented a lot with these pages. I eventually added borders around the dates. 
Um, and I just kind of went a little bit ham, just kind of decorating and being free and such. And that was a lot of the thing that I wanted from this journal as well, that I want from bullet journaling, is to just feel a lot more free and give myself the permission to do things just because I feel in the moment that they'll be a good idea. And it doesn't necessarily matter if it's not aesthetically perfect at the end, as long as I feel that I've had that kind of creative freedom throughout. I'm a very anxious person and this kind of thing just helps me just kind of feel confident in myself a little to just experiment and do different things. Also, as is typical of any of the other pages that I've done so far, I also added a bunch of stars and some stickers and all that kind of cool stuff to it as well, which I think turned out really cool too. I did also fill out the second page of the future log off screen because I figured you don't really need two lots of the same thing going on there, but I filled it out exactly the same. Now we move on to goals. Goals is an interesting one. Um, obviously we all thought that 2020 was going to turn out very differently than what it did. So honestly, I wasn't expecting too much about the goals that I'd be setting for myself in 2021. So I just kind of went with what I felt was important. I tried to move away from set numbered goals and kind of move towards that more values based goals instead. You know, kind of things like be more something, do more something and not tell myself, you know, I have to do uh, work out five times a week or anything that kind of made me feel more restricted. As long as I get to the end of the year and I feel that I've made an attempt towards these goals, I feel like I will have achieved them in a way. And that's kind of my mentality going into 2021 because it can't get worse? Maybe? I looked for inspiration for this design on Pinterest. I kind of saw this like bubble looking goals page that I really liked the look of and I kind of made it into planets. Um, and it's, again, it's very bold. It's very not like me so much. I'm usually a little bit more uh, minimalistic in my approaches, but I always love to be extra. So I'm just being the me that I'm bringing into 2021, which is bold overly outlined and colorful. Who knew? Then I just added some texture. I put a ring around one of the bubble designs as well, and it turned out really well. I also left a little section in the left-hand corner for how did I do, which can be something that I'll fill out at the end as well, just to kind of give me some idea of, you know, how did I feel I go? Just to give me a vague idea of, did I do well? Did I not do well? What do I improve on? Etc, etc. Next up, a personal goal of mine is to read more books. And so, of course, I had to go with a book section. This was genuinely my actual favourite. I know I said that the Year at a Glance was one of my favourites. This was my actual favourite spread. Um, just the way that the bookcase design ended up and with the reading log to the right hand side as well, I just, oh, I loved it. I loved it so much. I again stole this design from Pinterest as well. It's a great place to look if you're looking for any kind of inspiration on things to do. So essentially it's just books sitting on a shelf, as you can imagine, and then you would fill in the, on the spines of these books the names of the books that you've read. So far, I don't have any books that I've read in 2021, but I'm so ready to fill this out again. I used a significant amount of washi tape on this spread and it just looks amazing. I bought this uh, black and gold washi tape off of Etsy um, and I just used it for the shelves and also the top of the reading log and I'm just in love. I actually haven't used proper washi tape in a while, so I did struggle for a little while, just kind of, I kept tearing it and ruining it a little, and just, it was a bit of a time, but it was a learning curve that I eventually got over and eventually dealt with, I think. 
Then I just did the title in the gold lettering for both the reading log and for books as well. Then I even added a little bit of gold for the candles and it just, I'm just so ready to fill this out. It's going to be great. The next step is just some basic pages that honestly won't look like much until I've been able to fill them out. I just have a movies and TV series page. Uh, movies is as expected, just whenever I watch a movie I'll just pop it in there. I honestly probably didn't give myself enough space for this, but I might even separate it into like five, four, three, two, and one star movies. I'll work it out as I fill it out, I suppose. I did them kind of like film strips, which I really enjoyed, and then I'll be able to put the stars at the bottom. I'll probably write them in gold as well, the stars themselves, and the text itself maybe in blue or in black, I don't know, but just generally trying to keep with that theme. And then for the TV series, I really want to add as well uh, the episode or the series numbers that I get through as well, because I'm a serial binger. And I'm sure that I'll get through plenty of series in their entirety. So I'll need to record that down as well. But mostly these were pretty basic spreads, honestly. Um, you see a lot of these everywhere. I do use these spreads a lot when I'm filling things in, but they're not as important to me as, say, reading or um, some of the other pages that I have there as well. Next up, I have two spreads that basically look identical, but for me are functionally important. So I've designed my own social media tracker. It is based off of a lot of other people's social media trackers, um, and there's plenty out there, but it's basically separated into each different social media that I'm tracking for each different name. So I have either Burrows Red, which is for instance, this YouTube channel, but also um, my Twitter or my TikTok or my Instagram that are under those names as well. I just want to track numbers and kind of see in terms of uh, how close I get to goals I go throughout the year. I know I said a lot of my focus would be on values-based goals, but I always think it's really interesting to see the development of growth throughout a year. I'm just one of those people who loves to see numbers go up. And, you know, provided that they don't go desperately down, <laughs> it should be something really interesting to look at in a graph perspective to be like, hey, I'm on the right path, you know, and I get to set the scale to um, my maximum goal is set to 2000. Um, and I'm just hoping that it'll help me kind of put things in perspective, try to not compare myself to everyone else and just kind of get an idea of how well I'm going relative to me only. Again, I did the titles in a blue and then did the months and the social medias in gold with an alternating black and blue header as well. And I honestly think it looks great. It will be a really cool design for me to go through for this year. As you can see, I also did the same for Burroughs Arts as well. With Burroughs Arts, I also need to track my Etsy sales as well. And again, it's the same thing. I just want to try and, you know, see my progress relevant to me, not relevant to anyone else, no one on social media, no one that started the same time as I am or started earlier than me, just to kind of keep things me focused. And on that note, that is the completion of my 2021 bullet journal setup. If you've liked this setup, please be sure to like and comment and I don't know, even subscribe as well. Isn't that what all the YouTubers ask you to do? Um, if there's something that you particularly liked about it, I'd love to hear it. If there was a spread that particularly inspired you or anything like that. But otherwise, I'll have my January 2021 setup coming out soon. I will see you all then. I appreciate your faces, and I'll be back for more. Bye-bye.